So when I was a kid growing up, I, I didn't have all the things that uh, I have now as a maker. Uh, I didn't have people like Adam Savage and uh, other people like Steve Wang and uh, fabulous people that inspire me and want me to do um, you know, great things with what I can make. And I didn't have the resources that I have now either. So when, when I was growing up, you know, um, if I wanted to make something, I had to do it with something that was already around the house, right? Like, like my mom's uh, best uh, pair of sewing scissors. And if mom went to do something, she couldn't find her sewing scissors. It was always, you know, hey, Jonathan, where, where are my sewing scissors? Uh, and, you know, maybe things like, you know, popsicle sticks or, hey, listen, Elmer's glue, white glue. This stuff is magic. You can do all sorts of great things with Elmer's glue and and a sheet, just just a piece of an old sheet. You can do all sorts of stuff with this combination. Uh, paper mache, Elmer's glue, uh, clothespins, clothespins. They're wonderful things to hold things in place. They're a mini clamp and they work great. Some of you don't know what a clothespin is. Google it, look it up, a YouTube video on how to use them. Maybe we'll do something like that later. And and just, you know, cardboard, just thin pieces of cardboard. This stuff, lots of you know, and some of you use manila folders, things like that. This stuff is great. And you can pattern stuff off this stuff. You can cut things like this um, and make all sorts of stuff out of just... If, if I got a cereal box at home that I could pull out of the trash or a shoe box or whatever it was, that was fabulous. Some, sometimes, sometimes I, I might get some foam uh, from something, you know, an old uh, couch cushion or chair cushion, something like that. And, and that was even better. In fact, this particular mask right here is made out of nothing but old pieces of foam and latex, liquid latex, and some acrylic paint. Um, so, what I want to do is I want to make something, this, this, what I'm gonna call the third, third monkey, all right? The third monkey, because when, when you're getting on the ark and you're the third monkey, you are fighting like it's starting to rain. Okay, so I'm going to make this third monkey. I'm going to try to show how I do it using nothing but some foam, some liquid latex, which, you know, you can buy at a craft store this time of year, Halloween. You can buy it at a uh, makeup shop like uh, a Halloween store that sells masks and costumes and things like that. And today is Wednesday the 27th, and I hope to plan to have this done for Halloween. Uh, the pistol is a uh, toy pistol, of course, is outside. It's a toy. It's not real. Uh, it's something that looks like a pistol. I just spray painted it and it's outside drying right now. And then, um, we'll show you, we'll show you what happens and, uh, and go from there. I'm not having Adam Savage. Uh, this is not a one day build and, uh, you know, it's going to take me several days. So I hope you'll stay tuned and, and see what we can do in the next few days on the build of the third monkey. Oh, and by the way, I did, I did cheat just a little bit on this build. Uh, I'm going to use something that I don't normally use. Uh, it's from a company called uh, Harry Mann's Closet. Uh, kind of a play on word, Harry Mann's, M-A-N-N-S closet is not paid advertisement they're not paying me to say this i bought bought this myself it's national hair national fiber technologies uh closet of remnants and it is some stretch stretch fabric with some nice yak hair on it uh and i'm going to use this for uh for the fur on the mask uh very affordable doesn't cost that much and as you can see, you know, uh, some other colors of hair that are stuck to this. You may not be able to see that, 
the, these are the people that made the hair for uh, Chewbacca, okay? Uh, good stuff. It's real yak care, and uh, my daughter thought it was, ew. That's, that's, what, that's what she thought of it when she saw it coming out of the bag. Uh, so, all right, uh, this is the first in several videos that I'm going to post, and uh, hope to see you back here shortly with some progress. Okay, bye for now.